Welcome to Australian Debt Counsellors. We are a private organisation that advises and assists individuals who are in financial difficulty. Coming up, we'll be talking through the various options that are available in dealing with unmanageable debt, what the benefits and consequences of those options are, and tips on what you may want to ask before you do anything. So let's get started. It's a legally binding arrangement you can enter into with your creditors. An administration under the Bankruptcy Act, but is an alternative to bankruptcy for people not wishing to become bankrupt. Interest and charges become frozen on debt agreement debts. A creditor cannot enforce any recovery action against you. And a single payment is made into the debt agreement rather than different payments to different creditors. Payments made under the debt agreement are based on what you can afford to pay. A debt agreement is an act of bankruptcy. It will affect your credit file, making it difficult to get further credit. It will also appear on the National Personal Insolvency Index, which may affect employment. An individual who is unable to pay their debts as and when they become due and payable. A person who has not been subject to a debt agreement, bankruptcy or personal insolvency agreement within the last 10 years. And an individual who does not exceed the current eligibility criteria. A budgeting exercise is conducted to determine what payments you can afford to contribute to the proposal. Once a debt agreement proposal is prepared and signed, it needs to be lodged with the Government Authority, the Australian Financial Security Authority, or AFSA. AFSA will then forward the proposal to debt agreement creditors, asking them to vote by a nominated deadline date as to whether they want to participate under the arrangement or not. Once the voting deadline arrives, AFSA will then advise as to whether the proposal has been accepted or rejected based on the votes submitted by creditors. Bankruptcy releases you from most debts, allowing you to start over. You can be initiated by a creditor in the form of recovery action, or you can voluntarily file for bankruptcy. A trustee is appointed to manage the bankruptcy. This can be a private organisation such as a registered trustee, or the official trustee, the Australian Financial Security Authority. You are released from most debts when you become bankrupt. You are able to retain certain assets once you file for bankruptcy. For further information, have a look at our website. Your assets will vest in the bankruptcy trustee and can be sold for the benefit of creditors. The bankruptcy will appear on your credit file, making it difficult to obtain further credit. The bankruptcy will appear on the National Personal Insolvency Index, affecting your employment opportunities. You will need the permission of your bankruptcy trustee before travelling overseas. You will be disqualified from managing corporations for the duration of the bankruptcy. 
you may be required to contribute from your own income into the bankrupt estate if you earn above the current prescribed amount. The bankrupt is required to have a connection with Australia. Official receiver may reject the bankruptcy documentation where there has been previous bankruptcies or other conditions have not been met.